So I, yeah, that looks a lot better than the, the photo in the brochure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a Bluetooth tap timer control from your phone. Yep. Um, so as long as you're within Bluetooth range, yep. you can. Uh, What's that? Twenty or thirty it? meters, yeah, most times. Twenty, 30 meters. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can also manually operate it. So just by touching the button, oh, you click good. on and off. Don't need your screen. There's nothing in it. Yep. it just runs from. Uh, that was one of the things I worried when I first saw it and there was no screen on it. I was like, some people are still going to want a screen, no. but I think it's kind of that, that iPhone style attitude where you guys have gone, no, you don't need a screen. Yeah. And society yeah. will take time to get used to it and they'll be like, yeah, why do we need a screen? Yeah. So. The moment you put the batteries in, so when you put the batteries in, what it'll do is start flashing. Okay, when it starts flashing, it'll actually, it's in Bluetooth mode, so you can actually, as long as you've got the app, yep. you can actually then register that, that, that uh, yep. device. It's fairly simple. And then each device is unique? Like, can you have multiple devices? Yep, you yep. can have multiple devices. Yeah. Yep. They're all unique, so, uh, and you can only talk to them when you're in range, so. Yeah. Yeah, and look, the, I don't know, I mean, it was Matt was, Matt was asking me about, a, a, I guess, a Wi-Fi one, and I understand why, obviously, Bluetooth technology is quite simple, but... Um, Wi-Fi uses too much power. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah. so from a battery, so, that, so until battery technology gets to a point that can, I mean... Yeah, or Wi-Fi wi -Fi technology comes down with meet. power usage. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. Bluetooth. So Bluetooth um, uh, 4.0 is actually quite low in power usage. The actual tech, Bluetooth 4.0? Bluetooth 4.0 yep. technology is uh, low power usage, so that's the one we use. And what are these rated to pressure-wise? Are they gonna handle? Uh, 1,000 kPa. Yeah, cool, so they're legit. Because yep. the, the biggest problem we've had with these is the 600 kPa ones and the... Yeah, so it's 1,000 kPa, it's got a diaphragm valve in it, yep. not, not a little swing shut valve. Oh, so it's like a valve? It's just like a normal solenoid. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so that's just cool. a bit bigger. And do you know what the list or the recommended retail is? I don't. Can't yeah. tell you that. Yeah. That's cool. We'll chat, put that in underneath our. We'll yeah. have to. We'll have to code these up and buy them now. See, that's yeah. really well played. That's cool. That's, that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Um, do you know if they've if they've taken hold pretty well or are they kind of filtering well, out? Only just released. They're brand new. Yeah. But um, they're certainly in Europe. They're taking off, yeah. and in the US market, they're starting to move. Don't think we've got full stock in Australia. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll talk to the guys. Yeah. See what they've got. They're definitely coming.